Hello everyone and welcome back to Why We Love Photography. A couple of days ago I visited a place that had some really rare books and some old ones and I found something that immediately caught my eyes and it was this. This is actually camera work, uh, a publication founded by Alfred Stiglitz, as you can see it's written here. Uh, Alfred Stiglitz was a great photographer born in 1864 in America and he is somehow one of the most known reasons of why the photography got accepted as an art form. So when I found this in the store it was covered uh, in this protective plastic cover and I decided to open it with you guys to see what's inside. And the reason that I found it so special and I'm so excited about this is that uh, this camera work has all the 50 issues from 1903 till 1917. And I have no idea that uh, what we are about to see inside. So let's tear this plastic. Okay, so let's begin. Well, the table of contents show the number of each camera work and the year that it's been published. So you can go to a specific number individually and separately uh, of course it was a publication about fine arts and photography so we expect to see all these texts and articles about it but we get to the pictures All the pictures has uh, the name of the photographer underneath them and also the technique that has been made and printed and of course the size and the year of the image. For example, this one is made by Alvin Langdon Coburn, which we mostly know by his abstract works and photographs. But it's good to know that back then, in the early 20s, he was one of the members of photo cessations, that they were trying so hard to convince the art scene that photography can be accepted as a form of art, as a form of art. And this picture is a photographer that is a technique to print pictures. These photos are from Frederick Evans. Since there are a lot of pictures and this one is also Langdon cover. Yeah, since there are a lot of pictures and photographers uh, in this book, especially because it's the collection of all 50 issues of camera work, I cannot explain 
individually about each photo or each artist but if you guys had something to say about or had any questions and if you wanted me to share one of the pictures or information about one of them with you you can just comment and tell me Most of these pictures have been printed uh, on albumin paper and albumin is the sticky protein that can be found in egg white and when the photographer uses it it becomes a little yellow and the yellowness of some of these pictures is the product of using album and some other pictures that may seem a little bit like a painting in terms of pattern may be the product of using gum by chromat and gum by chromat is also another technique of synthesizing a paper in order to print a picture onto it and this gum by chromat technique was mostly used by uh, people like Robert Demashi back then there are a lot of famous names in this work for example uh, Stiglitz himself and his friend and colleague uh, Edward Steichen also Gertrude Kasbier, Arvin Langdon Coburn, Julia Margaret Cameron that's exactly the work of hers and Robert De Maschi. these are Steichen photos All other photographers that had a great impact on the progress of making photography an accepted art form, an official art form. And this is a famous work of Paul Strand that he made these portraits by using a camera that has a fake lens and that's why when he pointed it to a certain angle the object or the people being photographed didn't know that they are being photographed and by that he achieved the really realistic portraits Okay guys, hope you liked uh, flipping through this collection of camera work and if you wanted to see more just tell me because I cannot do that in one video and I will do that. Thanks and see you soon.